Hi everyone. Hope you are doing very well in your study. Today's our IGCSE chemistry lesson is related to past year exam questions for spring 2017, part two of two. Without further ado, let's get started. Dilute sulfuric acid is added to two separate aqua solutions, X and Y. The observations are shown. Solution X is white precipitate. Solution Y, bubbles of the colorless gas, which role shows the ion present in the solution. Solution X will be barium, and solution Y will be carbonate ion. The answer will be A. Which element is less reactive than other members of its group in the periodic table? As the thin element is the least reactive than other elements, being belong to halogen families, as the thin is very reactive as they have high electronegativity. The elements oxygen and sulfur are in the same group of the periodic table, which statement about oxygen and sulfur is not correct. They have giant covalent structure. This is not correct statement about oxygen and sulfur. Giant covalent structure is referring to diamond and graphite. Why are weather balloons sometimes filled with helium rather than hydrogen? Hydrogen is lighter than air, but it is flammable as oxygen is present in the air. So the risk of explosion and fire is there. Helium is lighter than air and it is non-combustible gas and unreactive. So it is used to fill balloon. So the answer will be helium is unreactive. Which process is involved in the extraction of zinc from zinc blender? The answer will be zinc from zinc blender is obtained by first roasting of zinc. After roasting, a reduction process is carried out in the presence of carbon, which leads to the formation of free metals that is zinc. So the answer will be D. Elements E have the properties of form and alloy, has a basic oxide, and is below hydrogen in the reactivity series. And what is E? E is actually a copper. A list of metal is shown, aluminium, copper, iron, magnesium, silver, and zinc. Which metal will displace all of the other metals from aqua solutions of the salt? The answer will be, while magnesium being more reactive than aluminium, will displace it from its salt solution. So the answer will be aluminium, uh, magnesium. Stainless steel is an alloy of iron and other metals. It is strong and does not rust, but it costs much more than normal steel. What is not made from stainless steel? It's a railway lines. The diagram shows some uses of water in the home. For which uses it is important for the water to have been treated? So the answer will be number one only. Because it's used to cook. Washing a car, we don't need treated water. And also water the plant, also we don't need treated water. The carbon cycle includes the processes combustion, photosynthesis, and respiration. Which row show how each process changes the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. So, combustion will be increases in terms of the carbon in the atmosphere. And photosynthesis, it will decrease the carbon dioxide. And meanwhile, respiration, it will increase the, the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Which statement about the condition used in the harbor process is not correct. Higher temperature gives a faster rate of reaction. We have seen before that when reactions are carried out 
at a higher temperature, they have a faster rate of reaction. In the Hubble process, a higher temperature would allow the reactions to occur more quickly. So the answer will be a higher temperature is used because the forward reaction is exothermic. Which chemical reaction decreases pollution in the air? The answer will be D. Which statement about sulfuric acid is correct? The reactions between ammonia, gas, and sulfuric acid take place in a continuous process at 60 degrees Celsius. To form ammonia, sulfate on a very large scale. And it is commonly used as a fertilizer to provide plants with nitrogen and sulfur. Ammonia sulfate is produced by the reaction of sulfuric acid and ammonia, and it is typically sold as a granulated powder. The answer will be C. Statement about method of manufacture and uses of calcium dioxide as shown. It is manufactured by reacting acid with calcium carbonate it is manufactured by heating calcium carbonate, yes. And it is used to desulfurize flue gases, yes. And it is used to kill alkaline soil. The answer will be 2 and 3. The industrial fractional distillation of petroleum is shown. What process happened? X, D, Y. This is the process of evaporation. Which statement about homology series is not correct? Alkene have the same general formula, CnH2n plus 2. Not correct. Because the formula standard formula for alkene is CnH2n. But if CnH2n plus 2, is the standard formula for alkane. These are called saturated hydrocarbons. It means all carbon atoms are bonded to the maximum amount of hydrogen atoms possible. So the answer which is not correct is alkane. This formula is mainly for alkane. The diagram shows part of mole molecule of a polymer. Which diagram show the monomer from which this polymer could be manufactured? So the answer will be C. Ethanol is manufactured by fermentation or by the catalytic additions of steam to ethane. What is an advantage of ethanol manufactured by fermentation instead of by the catalytic additions of steam to ethane? So ethanol manufactured by fermentation uses renewable resources. The formula of an ester is CH3, CH2, CH2, COO, CH2, 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 CH3. Which acid and alcohol react together to make the ester? It comes from butanol acid and propanol. Polyester and polyamides are type of synthetic polymer. Which statements are correct? They are made by condensation polymerization and the monomers from which they are made contain the reactive functional group at their ends. The answer will be 2 and 4. With that being said, I would like to end my presentations for today and hope to see you in the next presentation. By the way, please don't forget to subscribe to John Study Line YouTube channel. And there is customized note available at beacons.ai slash John Study Line. And other options for you to access to Beacon page is via John Study Line Instagram. Thank you very much for listening.